Hello, before I go into the video, I want to just give you a definition of time. Time in maths means to define as ongoing continuous sequence of events that occur in succession from the past to the present and to the future. Time is used to quantify and measure to compare duration of events and intervals. That's time. Then you have the watchman, the Christian watchman. Okay, the Christian watchman observes the time, the continuation of sequences and events and be able to connect the two together. So you have time and then you have the watchman, the Christian watchman. Okay, you're looking at political events around the world and being able to draw a conclusion as to what are causing the succession, these events, these, if you like, calamities, or if you like, recession. Hence, the Christian watchman. Now I can go to the subject. The euro has collapsed. For the first time in 20 years, below the dollar. All the Brexiters were coming out. You know, England is dying. Yet the Brexiters coming out celebrating. Thank God we left the EU. Thank God we told you so. Even though there are food, you know, soup kitchens, you know, in, in, in England that are empty. And people relying on food parcels. Families are starving. Yet the Brexiters are celebrating. We told you even though England themselves are dying, okay? Russia is cutting off their supplies to Germany. And as a result, Germany now feels as though she has to go against America and Britain, um, if you like, um, what's what I'm looking for? Um, what's what I'm looking for? That's my train of thought. Sanctioning, sanctioning Russia. Because it's almost like you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. I'm going to get you, Russia. I'm going to get you. But please, while I'm getting, while I'm sanctioning you, please, you know, give us oil. Because 40% of Russia's oil or energy is transported into Europe. 40%. That's nearly half. Yeah, you're saying to Russia, we're going to fight you, but please, 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 you know, still continue, you know, to, to, to give us, you know, energy. That does not make sense. But economic wars do not make sense either. However, what's interesting, while this is going on, while this is going on, Germany is on their knees because Russia can cripple them. 800 thousand cases i think let me just let me just have a look Eight hundred thousand cases i think in one week covid is spreading in england okay covid cases are rising in england and they reckon it's going to get worse but wait for the shock wait for the shock they said that the vaccines i didn't say this okay they said the vaccines for some reason are not working. The vaccine isn't working. They were told we're gonna get our freedom at any moment. We're gonna get it. Forget the, you know, the, 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 the curse of God of the nation. Forget God, we're in control. Just give us Bill Gates and everything will be okay. And I said to you, when God sends his 10 plagues of hell, then you will see how far the damage will be done to the world's economy. I made videos when I said I had a dream and I woke up to the very loud voice saying, Ma, look up the word Ma. This is what I heard in my dream, a very loud voice. And I ignored it. I thought, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Because as far as I was concerned, the world was still prospering. I can, I could see the judgment of God. They survived COVID, just about. Anyway, I decided, okay, because the voice it three times, I said, okay, 
right? So I texted it to myself on my mobile phone, because I was still in bed, the word ma, and I'm about to sleep. The next day, I looked on Google what the word ma means. Right, sorry, the voice also said how it was gonna permanently damage the economy. Permanently damage the economy. When I woke up and I saw on Google, the word ma means to permanently damage. Okay, let's see if that dream comes true. That prophecy comes true to permanently. Now, if you look at the link and the time and the sequence and the consequence, if you look at them, first of all, you had COVID and that not the economy. But you thought, oh, with our, with our wands and our spells, you thought you can outwit God. Like Pharaoh thought they can outwit God with their spells and incantation. And God was playing with them. Just had a bit of frog ear, a bit of lice. And then he went in. He just played all like Mike Tyson playing with his, with his opponent. But he knows he's going to knock him out in the end. He knows in the end he'll knock him out. But he just play with him, jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. The before he gets a right hook. Okay? But you know something? God was playing with Pharaoh. He was playing with Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh felt powerful. He says every you know, curse that God sends, you know, Pharaoh would come up with some spells and incantation and his potions to resist the, the, the power of God. But in the end, in the end, God destroyed the Egyptians. Same thing today. Man is, look, look, we got a heat wave. You know, it's, it's, you know, all it takes is God just to turn up, turn up the switch and he can melt every rose right around the world. That is the power of God. He, all he has to do, turn on the switch and he can melt America and Europe with flames. And the Bible says, say, behold the day cometh that shall burn like an oven that you call climate change. You can't even control it. You can't even assess it. But yet, you still using your spells and incantation. Well, use your spells and incantation and try to recover your economy. Then you went to war. You went to war with Russia. Knowing full well, this, these people are lead, they're leading your lives. They're ruling your lives. Yet these people knew that Russia was a big, massive exporter of energy. Like India exports 40% of coal. You're not going to go to war with a country that you need. But you see, they didn't know what they were doing. God was in control. I started off this video when I gave you a definition of time. Ongoing continuous sequence of events that occur in succession from the past through to present and the future. Not realizing that God is in control. He uses political economy for his own power and glory. And that is how he will bring down Europe and America. You want to believe in the American British political system that is so liberal and that is so anti-Christ, that is so anti-church, you can't even read your Bible. You can't even read it honestly and interpret it as it is without being accused of hate crime. Many Christians have found, found, lost their jobs. You know, they, they, they've um, gone to prisons. They've been persecuted. I know, you know, quite a few Christians who've been persecuted while preaching on the streets. And you think that God is going to sit back and do nothing. You think gonna, look, look at your country. Your country's collapsing. Your economy is failing. You have no solution. No solution. And you're still putting your trust in your government. You fool. Putting your trust that your government is God Almighty. Let's test the spirit. Like, like Elijah. Let's test the spirit. Let's see who's greater. My God or your government. Who you put your trust in. They can't even put food on your table. They can't even keep the prices down for the petrol. You're starving. 
yet you're putting your trust in your government, who you regard to be your God. Well, they predict a recession, a recession. I would like to say, watch out for the depression. You see, man, man love war. He because you know war makes money, etc. You know, if you ever read the book, the, the New World Order, you know, Fairy Grove, New World Order, and it tells you, man love war because out of war he makes money. He called war peace, but really, war means economy, building infrastructure. This is what the world's based on, but they don't realize through man's wicked means, God, in the end, will outwit him. We went to war with Russia, right, you know, for devilish political reasons, you know, because the thousands of millions of Ukraines that are going to flee Russia, I'd like to know, are Britain gonna take them? Are America gonna take them? This is, this is what happens when you, you go dizzy you, you act emotionally and you don't think of the consequences. You know, 12 million Ukraines are going to, are going to be homeless. 12 million. I'll let you know, American Britain going to open her grace and accept them all. 12 million Russians or Ukraines. But Ukraines are Russians. They speak Russian. You know, their culture is Russian. They have the same geography as Russia. So they are Russians. I'll let you know, are you going to bring them in? 12 million, but this is what happens when you act emotionally and you don't look at the consequences, time ongoing continuous figures of events that occur in succession from past through to present and the future. You don't look at the consequences of your political action. Oh, that's a, that's a mouthful. You don't look at your consequence. And as a result, God exploits these situations and man failing to see that his wickedness in the end will catch up with him. Europe, the e, the e, sorry, the euro has collapsed. The the euro, right, another country has gone has gone. Um, I think it was it not Greece. Another country has gone bankrupt. You watch this space. I've made videos saying that Brexit will fail. It will fail miserably. This God is going to send an earthquake. And uh, this world has gone dirty and vile. Let me give you an example, right? The Tory party claim that they're against snowflakes, they're against wokeism, they're against this, that, and you know, I agree. I'm, I'm against snowflakes, I'm against crybabies, I agree. Let's be like men and women, you know, not, I'm crying all the time because I want my rights. But guess what? The Tory parties, while they're fighting to try to become prime ministers, guess what's on their minds? Not putting food on the table, not sorting out the war in Ukraine and Russia. What's on their mouthpiece is trans rights. Not gay rights, not lesbian rights, but trans rights. While people are starving, right? we got food banks are empty, petrol prices going up, but on their lips are trans rights. The same conservative that claim we're against snowflake, really? Something don't make sense. Something really don't make sense. And you wonder why the world is falling apart. I stand by my prophecy. You know something? I get to see one Christian prophet to come and challenge me. I just see one out there, you know, they're making, they're making millions. They, they're flying in private jet, deceiving the, Christ, the dumb Christian masses, deceiving them with fake visions and fake prophecies. One that's never come to pass. Not one has ever come to pass. I'm telling you. Oh, oh. You will see my words come to pass. This world is going to crumble. You're going to see an earthquake. You're going to see a lightning come from heaven. Mankind has become filthy and rotten and sexually immoral. And for that, we are being punished. All God has to do is turn up the switch 
That's all he has to do. And the roads start melting. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn like an oven. I leave that with you.